Hi, it's me, Keith Lemon. Welcome to Keith Lemon's Doings. Um, like and subscribe. Do all those things that you do on YouTube. I've not done a YouTube video for a while. I um, just want to show you this today. I've got something from Big Chief Studios. I got this. It's from, where did I buy it from? I can't remember where I bought it from. But it's amazing. I was in Forbidden Planet and I saw that. I thought I can't walk around with that. It's too big. Tron. Remember Tron? Look at that beautiful thing. It's the deluxe free figure set. I'm not gonna open this. It comes in like an arcade box. And even got the little thing here that doesn't move. But these buttons, look at, can you see it? Um, you can't really see because it's it's quite light in here. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn the light off so you can see it a bit better. Okay, I'm gonna see it a bit better now. This button, player one, does that. What? Look at that. And it's just made out of cardboard. It's just a cardboard box. Um, then you've got a um, player two button here, which turns it into a disco. Disco times, disco times. The music that's on now doesn't play when you're pressing this, don't make any sound. I think it's so joyous, isn't it? Lovely thing. It takes batteries here. It's got a little battery thing there. But it's just the cardboard packaging that's so creatively done. What a wonderful display piece. Price-wise, um, it was quite spenny. It might be around the 96 pounds mark, but I guess for, for the size of it, um, it's what you would expect, I guess. Really wicked sculpts of the figures there. Um, Tron and Flynn and what's his face. Absolutely love that. Don't know where I'm gonna put it though. So the next thing I wanna show you is this from Big Chief Studios, wonderful people there. They made a little prototype of a wobbly head of me. Let me show you. Actually, it's not a wobbly head, it's just a, a lovely statue. Really well detailed, I love the sculpt on this. I do own this actual outfit. I don't think this is gonna be something you can buy, but it should be something you could buy if indeed you like Keith Lemon. Hello. These guys made this. They've sent me this. It's Flash Gordon, 40th anniversary. Six scale character replica figures. Ming and um, Flash Gordon. I didn't think I was ever gonna get it, but now I've got it. I can't wait to open it, so let's open it. Where am I looking at the right place? Tired eyes, I've been doing Celebrity Juice, which starts to air on March 24th, that's next week. Hence, tired eyes, because I've been filming. Let's get it open. <laughs> Flash Gordon. Ming the Merciless. And another Flash Gordon, King of the Impossible. Let's get in these. Excited. I'm not going to start tearing up like I did when I saw Arj and Anthea dancing on the real Dirty Dancing. And thanks for watching that, by the way. Got lots of lovely comments. Hopefully, there'll be a second series. It could be Grease, it could be Footloose, it could be Flash Dance. Or we could do Dirty Dancing again with just a different bunch of lovely people. Oh, these look incredible. Let's get their sheets off. Let's have a closer look at the box. What I love about these toys is the boxes are always incredible. Amazing graphic design. Um, lovely spot varnish there. You've got the Flash Gordon logo. Of course, it's from the film that was out in the 80s. Collector Series BCS Limited Edition Big Chief Studios. They look incredible. Just look at this. Of course, the theme music for this film was done by Queen. Flash, ha ha, you saved everyone of us. Um, remember that tune there? Let's have, I've put a white thing behind so you can see the beauty of the boxes better. There's Ming, look at him. Likeness is bang on. And um, here we have a Flash wearing the Flash t-shirt there. Really like that look. Let's get them open. Before I open it, I've just noticed this. Number 155 of 500 worldwide. So this is something that's gonna be, it's, it's gonna go up in value. So I do recommend getting these if you are a Flash Gordon fan. I am a Flash Gordon fan. I once wrote a script for the new Flash Gordon film, um, but it never happened. I think my idea of Flash Gordon was a different idea to what the studio wanted to do, but maybe I'm not allowed to talk about it. So watch, oh, let's open these figures. Nice die cut there. Flash Gordon carrying his Easter egg. Oh, there's your bits and parts there. Instructions, there's batteries. Uh, bag of yeast. And there he is, quite stiff. There, oops, hands come off, but um, that means that easy to get on off, hopefully. So articulation, look, it can dance. Really cool trainers, no socks. It's just got like that sort of vibe. Guess you don't need socks if, uh, if you can't see your socks. 
Nice chinos. Oh, flash on the back. Nice tailoring. Lovely little pocket and stuff. Head sculpt. Yeah, really good. And there he is. There he is. Quite stiff. I guess that'll loosen up. Yeah, I think it looks great. So here's the other flash gun. He's got his red vest on. There's his space clobber. He's, he's got his um, space gym clothes on. Um, this is what he wore when he's on that flying bike and he's with Birdmen. Flash Gordon's alive! I can't do many voices because my voice is finished from yesterday's filming, but um, let's have a look at this one. This is what he's got on on, on the poster for the movie. Um, there's lots of little bits with this one. Really cool boots. Okay, saw that. Can't remember that in the film. The space purse. So I'm guessing these little name plates go on here like this. Um, batteries go in this and you switch it on and off here. There's no batteries in, I'll put some batteries in. And I expect that bit lights up. But I like the design, it's very in keeping with the design of the film, um, on the sets of the film. It's, you know, the golden red and stuff. Oh, that's his gun. Taken from the Birdmen. Flash Gordon's alive! And um, Brian Blessed again. Um, not a very good impression because my throat's all sore. Got two guns. Let's get Emperor Ming open. There he is, in his going out clobber. Let's have a look at him. Ooh, bag on his head. Oh, look at this. Love the smell of a new toy. And lots of lovely detail. There's his ring. Remember, got some more hands. This one, um, that is for, um, what's that? Just, oh, that's for holding his glass in it. That's what that one's for. So on closer inspection, this is what the head sculpt is like and looks like Emperor Ming to me. He's got his um, sword there, he's got his little ring that's saying don't mess with me, I'm Emperor Ming, I've got a ring. Lots of fabric in this cape, lots of fabric. Check out his cool boots as well. These obviously light up, but at the moment I've got no batteries in the house. But there's a flash as well, I'll get some more light on him. Get some more light, oh look there he is. Yeah, flash garden. He'll save every one of us. Ding, 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 ding. Really cool. Can't remember what his actual trainers were like in the film. And there he is in his space clobber with his space sword. You see, really good sculpt, really good. Is it in focus? Is it in focus? Is it in focus? I can never photograph these while me because in, in my hand you go, oh my gosh. Um, let's have a look all the way down. I've got my um, flash card and sticker book somewhere, but I seem to have misplaced it. I can't remember where I put it because I was using it recently for references when I was doing that script. I, shh, what the, the, the. Anyway, that was Big Chief Studios Flash Gordon range. I guess all we can hope for now is that they do Dale and Zarkov. What they do do is these wonderful little bobbleheads, if you like, Only Fools and Horses. They're really cool. Wicked caricatures, um, they're really nice. And they do Dad's Army as well, they're really nice. So check out Big Chief Studios. That's bigchiefstudios.co.uk. Have a look at their stuff. Lovely things. Let's look in the catalog here. Check those guys out. Do some lovely Laurel and Harvey stuff as well. If you're a fan of Doctor Who, they do some Doctor Who stuff as well. I'd like to be in Doctor Who, actually. I can't remember where I got the deluxe free figure set from, but I do know they do it in Forbidden Planet, so have a look there. Also check out killclothes.com. Got some new t-shirts dropping soon. And series 26 of Celebrity Juice on ITV2 on Thursday nights at 10 o'clock. I was Keith Lemon for Doxy Fruit Week. I'll see you through a window. Like and subscribe. Good luck with your business. All best.